Hey guys, if you clicked on this video, you are probably wondering if you can run Throne and Liberty, and if you meet the minimum system requirements. Well, I'm here to tell you that the answer is most likely yes, because this game has one of the best optimization options I have seen. It's such a big contrast from New World, where the difference between the lowest and the highest graphical settings is negligible. And for someone like me, who doesn't have the most powerful PC, you can see my specs in the description. A bad optimization is the worst thing that a game could have. But fortunately, Throne in Liberty is not like this. In fact, it takes optimization to the next level. Like the difference between the lowest and the highest settings is night and day. You can play this game on a fast computer and make it look gorgeous. Or you can travel back to 2005 and play it on a potato. The choice is yours. Now I have a potato laptop. I do. And I play this game on 4K and consistently get 100 plus FPS. It's a bit lower now because I am recording. And that's on the lowest graphical settings. Now the level of customization this game offers you in terms of graphics is huge. Let me give you a quick run through. As you see, there are four pre-made options, low, medium, high, and epic. Unlike New World as previous mentioned, fuck Jeff Bezos, depending on the choice, I can either get 100 plus FPS on the lowest, 40 on medium, or turn this from a video game to a picture game with zero FPS on epic. The biggest leap is from low to medium, where you go from Minecraft to beautiful in a second, with the cost of half of your FPS. But if 40 FPS is fine for you and you have a potato, you can still enjoy some decent graphics. In fact, if you do not play on 4K like me, you can probably reach 60 FPS on medium if you have specs similar to mine, I don't know, try it yourself. But if that's not enough for you, and your PC is an absolute garbage, they have even further options for lower graphics, so you can enjoy the game. First you go to Fidelity Super Resolution, and select Ultra Performance, which will give you around 30% FPS boost, and if that's still not enough to play smoothly on your potato, you turn off the Fidelity Super Resolution, and you reduce the resolution rate. As you can see, at 0% it is unplayable. So, I recommend the lowest you'll go to is 30%, so you can at least see what's going on. Now of course, preferably stay at over 50%, because it's been 22 years since the release of Morrowind. If that is still not enough for you, and the game is still lagging, it is time to throw the toaster in the trash and buy an actual computer. Thank you for watching this video. Don't subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.